Hello class, you are welcome to today's class. My name is Ibrahim Nasiru and I will be taking you on the topic titled Space Travel. Okay, so at the end of this class, you should be able to define space travel. You should be able to know the reasons why scientists are curious to travel to space and you should be able to know some of the engineers that work together to make space travel possible, all right? Now, the introduction. What is space travel? Space travel is traveling from the Earth to outer space. Space is the environment surrounding the Earth, the Moon, and other planets. And we say for hundreds of years, people have dreamt about traveling to the outer space. And the invention of huge rockets made space travel a reality. Now, human beings are able to go into space and spend months and days using a space rocket called Space Shuttle. Okay? So we have three different regions of space. And the first one is stratosphere <clears throat> we have stratosphere the second one and the third one is the ionosphere so these are the different regions of space okay so what are some of the engineers who are some of the engineers that make space travel possible okay so the engineers that make space travel possible are we have the aerospace engineers. These are engineers that design the craft. And we have the mechanical engineers. These are engineers that design the components of the craft. And we have electrical engineers. These are the engineers that take care of the electrical and the computer system of the craft. And we have the chemical engineers. These are the engineers that design the rocket foil. And we have biomedical engineers. These are the engineers that design the biomedical devices that monitor and keep healthy the traveling astronauts. So, the purpose of space travel. Why are scientists so curious to travel to space? Why are nations spending a lot of billions of dollars to make this possible? Now, the first one is acquisition of knowledge. Man is naturally curious. He wants to know what is up there. He wants to know if he, beyond the outer space, beyond the earth, what is happening on the moon, what is happening on the sun, what is happening on the other planets. Now, it boosts national prestige. It also shows military might. In space travel happens also to find out if there is life on the moon. Scientists are curious. They want to know what is happening and to also colonize other planets. Maybe if they find out that the moon is habitable, one day people will go there and stay there and live a normal life there. And to help scientists find out the type of weather conditions that exist in the outer space and other planets to provide a base for various activities in the outer space. Yes, so those are some of the purposes for space travel. Now, these are some of the scientists that pioneered space travel. The first one is a Russian major, Yuri Gagarin who took off in 1961 was the first to go into space. And the second one is Neil Armstrong, an American, who was the first to step on the moon on the 21st July, 1969. And he was followed by Edwin and Aldin and two other Americans, Eugene Simon and Harrison Salmit who stayed about 74 hours and 59 minutes on the surface <coughs> of the moon. Okay, so we have come to the end of today's class. 
but before we go we take the summary short there okay so we discuss about the space and we say space is the region of our environment outside the earth also says that space consists of three regions namely troposphere stratosphere and ionosphere and we said space, space travel makes uh, space travel means to make a journey far beyond the earth atmosphere into outer space and we say scientists are curious to travel to space for different reasons we also said different engineers work together to make space travel a reality all right so we have come to the end of this class but before we go let's take exercise now number one says what is space travel number two says space consists of three regions name them number three says list three engineers that work together to make space travel possible last but not the least you should give two purposes of space travel all right thanks very much for joining us hope to see you next time